Sipinski triangle. The sequence begins with an equilateral triangle. Each step is formed by removing an equilateral triangle, from the center of each blue triangle in the previous step. Four steps of this infinite pattern are shown here. Find the number of blue triangles, and the fraction of the original triangle remaining. Focusing on the first two steps, one blue triangle gives further three blue triangles. So the multiplication factor is 3. This can be obtained by dividing the second term by the first one, and is known as the common ratio. Once we know the multiplication factor, we can multiply this by the previous term to move to the next term of the series. So at each step, every blue triangle gives further three smaller blue triangles. So here is our sequence for the number of blue triangles. For the fraction of blue triangles, again focus on the first two steps, and find the common ratio. From step 0 to step 1 we got four identical triangles. So each one is one quarter of the original triangle. But three of these are blue so multiply one quarter by three, to obtain the total fraction of all blue triangles. Now divide this by the first term, which is 1. So the multiplication factor or the common ratio is 3 by 4. Now multiplying by this consecutively, we can obtain the answers, for the step 2, 3 and so on. Following the pattern, here is the fraction remaining for step, n. Let's find the general term for the sequence of the number of blue triangles at step, n. Since our common ratio is 3, we see that this series can be written as multiples of 3, as shown. So, here is the number of blue triangles in step, n. Step k, is the first step of the pattern, in which the number of blue triangles, exceeds 1000 million for the first time. Find the value of k. We know the number of blue triangles in step k is, 3 to the power k. Set this, greater than the given value, as stated. So the problem becomes solving this inequality. To find the value of k, Let's consider the inequality, take logarithm, of both sides. For example, log base 10. Using properties of logarithms, the log of 3 with an exponent k, is equal to k times, the log of 3. Use the same property, for the right hand side. Now simplify. So, k is greater than 18. Therefore, 19 is the required first step, when blue triangles will exceed the given value. Step H is the first step of the pattern, in which the fraction of the original triangle remaining, is less than one hundredth, of the original triangle. Find the value of H. For nth step the fraction of, the original triangle remaining, is given by this. Replace n by h, and set this term less than 1 by 100. So the problem becomes solving an inequality. In order to simplify the exponential function, take logarithm, of both sides. Let's take the natural log. Use this log property for an exponential function and simplify. It is important to note, Multiplying both side by minus 1, reverses the sign of the inequality. So h is greater than 16. Therefore, h equals 17, is the required step. What fraction of the original triangle, remains after an infinite number of steps, of the pattern? 
Consider the fraction of the original triangle at step n and find the limit as n approaches infinity. Note, 3 by 4 is less than 1. So, as the exponent n increases, this function tends to 0. Like 1 by infinity, the graph of this function is shown, and you can see that it tends to 0. As n increases, 